All right, we're just outside of Crooked River Ranch and we're gonna be doing the Otter Bench Loop today. And it's a beautiful day. So I got my daughter Lacey here with me on the hike today here on Otter Bench. So it, it's amazing out here. It, the weather is perfect. It's just cloudy. It's probably about 50 degrees. Um, some blue skies, gorgeous. Smells like, I don't know, like pine and some other stuff, but it smells really good out here. All right, well, we'll see you on the trail. Completely beautiful out here. Smells just amazing. Juniper, that's what I was smelling. Couldn't uh, figure out what that was earlier. But yeah, totally smelling like juniper, juniper out here. And uh, I can't wait to move to Eastern Oregon. Me and my wife discussed this the other day. And uh, there are plans in play. We're starting them right now to move here to Eastern Oregon. It's going to be a long-term plan, but uh, it's something that's most definitely going to happen. So, and I can't wait. It'll be my retirement, more or less. So, which is about 15 years out. But we're going to purchase the land. Uh, we're going to sell our current house in 18 months, roughly. Downs we're going to downsize between now and then. And then um, look, move into a rental house and look for property out here in Eastern Oregon. We're gonna purchase it cash. And then we're gonna have a custom tiny house built. And we're gonna have that moved into a park um, to live in um, locally to where we're at until we retire. And then we're gonna have that um, tiny house moved to our property in Eastern Oregon to live there after we retire. So in the meantime, between now and then, since we're gonna be living tiny and have probably a third of the expenses that we have now, that money will be going to developing the Eastern Oregon property, well, septic, solar, everything that it needs to get it uh, um, ready to uh, sit a house on. So, that's gonna be the plan. And in the meantime, when we're not living on it, I've got a guaranteed camping spot in Eastern Oregon that I can camp on with friends, with my rooftop tent on my Subaru, whenever I want. This terrain is crazy beautiful. The weather just keeps getting better and better. It was pretty overcast when we got here, but we're about a mile in and it's gotten really sunny. And I'm glad we came on kind of a, a little bit more of an overcast day because I can see this area getting smoking hot. Um, it's probably about 50 degrees and it's totally perfect. Uh, for hiking in not hot at all just a little cool breeze walking in the sun through a gorgeous canyon couldn't be better
also make them into a picture. Okay, it looks like we've came up to the split here. Let's see. What's this one? Oh, Horny Hollow. Looks like part of this is closed. That way, we're gonna head down. Um, I think that heads down towards the water. This way we're gonna go. And then I think that's the other part of the Otter Bench Loop. I just found a geocache right off the trail. <laughs> oh, we're gonna check it out and see what's inside of it. Here you go, Lace. Open it up and see what we got. Oh, oh they got they printed out their own thing. That's so cool. Like a bunch of wacky stuff in here. Nice. Can't stop looking at that. We made it down to the water, so we're gonna hang out right down here. There's a little spot where you can go kind of sit by the water, just gonna hang out there and chill out, have some snacks and drink a little bit of water. Everything's been amazing so far, enjoying it thoroughly tell you what I am half tempted to go swimming here this is like amazing little spot you could just jump in right there you want to know what doesn't have a funky taste <laughs> Got a bunch of turkey buzzards flying around. Wonder if there's something dead. We just came back up from the water. There's three of them. Two down low, one up high. They're looking for something. Got some wildflowers. Pretty awesome. That view. <laughs> 
is even better. Freaking amazing. I think this is going to be my favorite hike that I've done so far on these 52 hikes. This terrain, I just love it. Um, and the uh, all of the uh, cliff sides and the canyons, um, it totally reminds me of when I was younger. I lived in a uh, small town for about three years called Alturas um, in California, Northern California. Um, about 100 miles from Klamath Falls. And this is very similar, and that time in my life was very awesome. Um, I was a young kid, and I had the latitude to live out into the in the countryside, and um, free will to explore wherever I wanted to go, <laughs> which is, nowadays you probably wouldn't see any parents doing that, but I lived through it and i think i'm a better person for it too as well all right get let's get hiking got some power lines over there and a big old water pipeline looks like they're pumping water right out of the crooked river up to the top to that pump house pretty neat we just made the loop around right over here now we're going to be heading back uh, towards uh, the beginning of the trailhead. It's been amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I surely have. So that was the Otter Bench Loop Hike. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Super beautiful hike. Definitely recommend it. It has been one of my favorite hikes so far.